where did it all begin? Well, my leaving cert um, I did in 1992. And in uh, 1991, 92, I had arts in school, and um, I was messing around with it and slightly creative, not close as creative as I am these days. But I used to sell some of my projects in school to a friend's mom, Jane Enslin, who sadly died about two weeks ago. And uh, she always used to tell me, we actually used to paint together as well, she always used to tell me, Marinus, never ever stop painting. So um, that's where it all began. And why I do it? Well, it is something that I just have to do. Um, since I've been doing it, um, I guess it's the, I guess it's the kick of finishing something, of standing back and realizing and not really believing that these hands have actually made it. Um, that is what just carries on. It's a perpetual process. It has um, the rewards behind it, and not just the financial rewards. Not there's not that much of a financial reward in it. The physical reward of just having something to show for a certain amount of time. That is why I do it. And then the fact that there are people fascinated by it, and the compliments, and it's not just for myself. So. That would definitely be why I do it, and why I will never stop doing it as well. But my best work ever, um, it's a two-piece, Dragonflies as a theme. It was um, commissioned by a guy called Gary Boyens. He used to live in Qatar at this stage, South African guy. Um, he contacted me a few years ago and said he wants something for his wife's birthday. And we came up with a piece, he likes big things. I came up with a two-piece with two dragonflies, um, one meter by one and a half meter each canvas. Um, those pieces will probably be in South Africa now, as he has actually left Qatar back to South Africa a few years ago. Um, yeah, not just because it's the biggest. Yeah, well, one of the biggest reasons will be because that's my biggest piece ever. That's why, and it was my favorite piece to do as well, um, as my drawing process involves quite a bit of mathematics and something on that scale it was just very rewarding to to pull it off and then the colors that he ordered it in as well whites yellows reds oranges and blacks so those are really some of my i like i like the, the fiery side of of my palette and um yeah that will definitely be it but this there are numerous ones who are really I enjoy every piece thoroughly. I do enjoy my, my latest piece as well, very, very much. I think that when it's finished, it will very likely be my my best work ever. My favorite medium? Um, well, I mostly work in oil, um, on canvas, stretch canvases. I don't ever work on walls and stuff like that, nothing that is not permanent. Um, I also painted and experimented with acrylics a few years ago, I made I started making a range called Art for the Dark, where I combine a, um, luminous acrylic paints with black lights. Um, so, like the '80s arts, we used to put on our walls the, the luminous stuff, and then we put the black lights on it. I did enjoy that as well, but that's very I can't blend that. My thing is blending, so that's why I'm quite spoiled. I used to work in water water paint when I when I, water colors when I first started, and um, Jane actually always used to tell me give oil a chance because of the fact that I can blend quite well and it's my favorite thing to do as well um, when I tried oil the first time I came to Ireland in 2002 I fell in love with it and this is where we are today so oil um, also I'd like to do a bit of sculpting here and there I actually experimented with something the other day I made a, a cast of my of my pregnant wife's belly the other day out of plaster of Paris. Um, this is just the, the beginning stages of it. I'm going to make a lamp of this. Um, it needs to be smoothed out and then I'll probably paint a, to start off with, well, floral design or whatever on it. Um, I'm liking, I love this very much, so there'll be a lot more of these products as well, kind of three dimensional products. Um, yeah, so that's it. Well, it is. Themes and colors. Um, Oh, colors as I have not studied art or has not ever been really told by someone to 
um, you know, how to mix. And I think also for most artists, that's a learning curve, a never-ending learning curve. That's my biggest learning experience is um, probably still lying ahead of me as I'm still finding colors and blending colors that I fall in love with every single day. And I like to keep it bright and my themes, yeah, as you can see, I've, I'm not scared of color. I'm not scared of throwing an idea out there. And my themes also, like I said earlier on, like my my inspirations, um, they vary um, quite a bit. So it could be straight lines or curvy or whatever. So you're going to have to have a look at my art to, to kind of get around that one. Um, that's my inspiration? Um, inspiration I gather from the simplest everyday things around me. Elephants, animals. Um, if you look at my stuff, it's quite diverse. You know, there's um, lots of themes, and but inspirational-wise, um, I said it earlier on as well. The fact, the the reward of finishing something and having to show something for my time invested. That's my biggest inspiration. Um, from now on, very soon, my biggest inspiration will definitely be my little Venus um, on the way. Um, I'd love to give my some of my artistic side to her as well that's my little girl and um, so that'll that'll keep me going very strong as well so yeah I think my my biggest my biggest inspiration is on the way I think it's about to change drastic and dramatically right so the future of my art um, well anybody that's um, been around me for the last eight nine years will not otherwise than admit the progress that's also one of my biggest kicks, the progress. I know for a fact, mostly, the next painting is going to be, be very likely better than the previous one, as I'm, I'm learning constantly. Um, the future of my art, I'm not as productive as I used to be, but I'm coming up with a little bit more serious pieces, um, something a little bit more thought through. And uh, this is my latest piece. Um, I can't reveal the theme of it. I don't know if you can make out anything from it, but I'd love to finish it first and then um, have another word about it. So um, I've been busy with it for about a month now and I will probably be another three weeks to a month as well. So, But um, as for the future of my art, I will never ever stop painting. So keep an eye on this space. To collaborate on inspiration and I um, some of you will know that I gave my art two years full time and I sold a few pieces, moved them over the world um, but I was kind of disappointed, slightly disappointed in the fact that I didn't sell more um, I would have loved to make that my full time career but I have realized that um, my immediate surroundings at the moment are not um, such an art friendly environment and um, but also in a sense it has made me it has made me um, actually fall in love more with my art as I obviously get less time to do it now I do know that the bills are going to get paid as I gone, I've gone back and working full time which I really enjoy as well but I also I put more value to I add more value to the works that I that I come up with these days as well and um, but it would have been sad as actually we, the biggest inspiration or some of the biggest inspiration is to sell a piece because with myself it's usually like that if I sell something two ideas come just out of the blue basically replace one but um, it's not like that anymore so I'm not that productive I said it before but I've, I will never stop uh, so what do I do when I when I'm not painting or I'm not creating well um, the other big love in my life, music. I'd always have music on, even while I'm work anyway. Um, I work full time, um, but when I'm home, there's usually music playing around. And also, sometimes this strange kind of noise <laughs> that I try to create myself as well. So, um, that keeps me busy and out of trouble, for the moment anyway. Thank you. <laughs>